Welcome back. This is part three of my video series for people who've just picked up their first pair of drumsticks, bought themselves a crappy kit on Gumtree and are raring to go, wanting to learn how to play some rock beats. Hopefully you've watched parts one and two already. If you haven't, I strongly recommend you go back and watch them. Or you could just live dangerously and watch this anyway. In part one, I demonstrated how to play the hi-hat on the eight eighth notes, counting one and two and three and four and. We played the snare on the two and the four, and then we added the bass drum on the numbers one and three. It's also known as the Billy Jean beat or the money beat. After that, I demonstrated how to add extra bass drum notes on the and after the one and the and after the three. It's the we will rock you beat, the bane of drum teachers everywhere. Beat number one sounds like this. One and two and three and four and. Two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. And three and four. And beat number two adds the extra bass drum. Three and four and one. Two and three and four and one and two. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Now that you know how to play those two initial grooves, we're going to mix up the bass patterns a little bit. First, we're going to put the bass drum on the one and the and after one and then on the three, like this. One and two and three and four and one and two. It should feel easy if you're used to the other patterns. Three and four and one and two and three and four and. Remember that we want a nice punchy bass drum and a snappy snare. We want a bit of welly behind it. One and two and three and four and one and two. The hi hat's going to be nice and light. And when you're starting out, I recommend playing the hi-hat with the stick, uh, just playing the tip on the top of the cymbals, like this. One and two and three and four and, and two. There's all sorts of other patterns you can do. You can play like this on the edge as well. One and two and three and four and one and two and. That's for heavier situations. I quite like people getting used to just playing a nice, even, light stroke on the hi-hat first. Two and have I lost my pattern? Four and one, two and three and four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three and four and done. Next, we're going to reverse that by playing the bass on the one and then on the three and the and after three. This is what I believe to be the most common beat in all of rock music. Uh, you'll hear it everywhere. Here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two again light hi hat four and one two and three and four and punchy bass three and four and snappy snare two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one Two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So you've now got four bass drum patterns you can play. The bass on the one and three, the bass on the one and the and and the three and the and, then you've got the one and the and and the three, and you've got the one and the three and the and. Uh, and that last pattern is the one you're going to be playing more than any of them. So get really good at all of them. Learn how to play in a relaxed way. You'll notice I'm demonstrating these at a slow tempo. Um, don't try and play it fast until you get really comfortable and relaxed. And you can get a good balance between your hands and feet. So again, remember with the punchy bass, snappy snare, and a light and fluffy hi-hat. That's an important thing to get right, I think. And you can get it right from the beginning. Don't forget to count out loud. Uh, that will allow you to make a deep connection between what your body's doing, the coordination of your limbs, and being able to get a nice consistent sound. Next, let's improvise on those bass drum patterns. You can play one bass drum note on the one or the three, or you can play two bass drum notes with the one and the and, or the three and the and. And you can mix them up as you like. And we're just going to try and do that freely without thinking too much about it, getting used to, as I say, improvising our patterns. So something like this. One and two and three and four and one, two 
and three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and and four and one and two and three and four and one and two three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two and and four and one two three and four and one and two and three and four and one two and three and four and one and two three and four and one That's it. Learn how to play all four of those patterns slowly, comfortably, so you're nice and relaxed. Then learn how to improvise by altering whether you play one and and, three and and, and however you want to do it, really. Just get used to moving those bass drum notes around. Uh, I'm starting off with these ideas that are very, very simple. If you can get the hang of it very quickly, that's cool. Uh, some people might take a little while longer. To, to grasp and be able to play things nice and consistently. I always think that at least for a portion of what you're doing, take things really, really slowly. Don't rush to uh, play anything more complicated than your body's comfortable with doing. You can always stick a Sex Pistols song on afterwards and thrash away. But initially, learn how to practice slowly and with focus. That's your lot for today. Thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe, and most importantly, leave some comments in the comments section to let me know what you're thinking about these videos and whether there's any other topics you'd like me to cover. Now go away and practice.